Hey guys, and welcome to the second video in my Discord rewrite tutorials. So today we're going to be continuing where we left off with kind of sending messages, adding some more commands. We're going to be talking about kind of getting uh, specific things to a server, like maybe how many members are on there, who's online, who's offline, uh, how we can check specific channels, how we can check who is sending what message, how we can mention members, kind of going through a lot of the basic stuff. Um, but this will allow you to actually create a lot. Now, before I continue, what I want to talk about just is all this stuff is going to be on my website. So if you guys are like struggling with any of the code or you can't keep up with the pace that I'm going at, just go to my website, uh, techwithtim.net, go to the tutorials page. You can just do that by clicking up here, go to the discord bot section. And then at the time of recording this, I don't have the text-based version done, but you'll be able to click on the text-based tutorial most likely right when this comes out. So I'll show you, for example, with the first tutorial that was already out uh, and you can kind of go through here. And it explains everything that I'm doing in the video, just kind of like not as detailed. And then they have, I have all the code here that you can kind of copy as well if you run into any errors. So I'm also just going to talk about, so what I do essentially when I teach these tutorials and when I learn is I just read the documentation. So essentially what I did to learn rewrite is I just read through this entire documentation. Uh, and then I kind of pick through the stuff that I think is important. Uh, and that's not like super specific to a, a use case. And then I teach that as like, uh, I don't know. That, that's just what I do, right? So you'll see me occasionally look over to my other screen because I just have the documentation open because I don't memorize this stuff. I just look through and know how to use it. So if you guys want to learn how to do a bunch of this stuff that I maybe don't talk about, because look, there's tons of stuff in here that you can do. Like I can't even begin to explain how powerful this module is. Just go to this link. I'll leave it in the description and read through the documentation yourself. Now, it's not going to be as easy to do things as compared to watching me because I've already read through it and can kind of show what's difficult and what's not. Um, but you can learn how to like, maybe if you want to do sound and I don't talk about that till video five, then you can read through this and maybe try to figure that out for yourself. So essentially, uh, what we want to do in this tutorial is I already was playing around with the bot in here just to make sure everything's working, but, uh, we want to get the server ID first. Now, what we were doing in the last video is we just created a bot and it's on this server, right? But it could be on any server that we want. And that means when we run the bot on any server, it'll do the same thing. Now that's good in some cases, but in other cases, we need specific information to the server we're on. For example, the amount of members, well, that's going to be specific to the server. So we need some way to access that value. So to do that, we actually need to get something called the server ID. Now to get that is, well, it's not challenging, but it's not easy either. So what I need you to do first of all is go to your discord, go to user settings, not, not like channel settings, user settings, and then you're going to go to uh, appearance. And you're going to scroll down to where you see developer mode. Now mine is already on, uh, but yours will most likely be off. So you're going to have to turn this on. It even says here developer mode exposes context menu items helpful for people writing bots, which is exactly what we're doing. So we'll do that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to our test server or whatever server you're working in, obviously go to server settings and go to widget. Now, if you clicked on widget before, you might not have seen this page. I can't promise you you did or not because I have like streamer mode enabled at some point. So it's kind of weird. But anyways, you're just going to copy this value that says server ID. OK, I don't think it's I don't think it matters if you guys know what my server ID is. But anyways, uh, there you go. So copy the server ID. And now what we're going to do is I'll just what do you call it? Exit out of this. And I've already got it copied here, but just copy it in. So you have the server ID. OK, and what we're going to do now is we're going to type exactly this. I forgot that I still had this typed. And type ID equals client dot get underscore guild and then that ID value, which is you got exactly from the discord page, right? Now we have a reference to our specific server so we can do things like count the amount of members. So once you've done that, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add another command that's just going to simply print out the amount of members that are in our discord server. So to do this, we'll say elif message dot content uh, equals equals. And then in this case, let's say users right and then this will just give us like, the amount of users or members in our server and obviously play with these if you want these to be something else you can make this like a dash like you can do whatever command thing and you can even make it like that it doesn't need to be uh, with an exclamation point i'm just choosing to use that for my commands so now we're just going to await message dot channel dot send and then in here i'm actually going to use something called an f string so i'm going to type f and then i'm going to do three quotation marks and you can use this in regular python as well but what we're going to do now is I'm just going to say, uh, what do you call it? Number of members. 
And then we're going to put these little curly braces. Now you won't see these curly braces when you print. It's just to declare that we're about to place a variable in here. So that way we don't have to add like the pluses and the commas and do all that formatting for the string. We can just kind of type it directly in, which is really nice. So we'll put these curly braces. And then in here, what we're going to do is we're going to do ID dot member underscore count. And since this is a reference to our server, and by the way, ID, if this is giving you errors, just change it to something else because it's a Python keyword, but it should be fine. Um, and then we'll do member underscore count and they'll give us how many members are in our server. So let's run this and see if I made any mistakes or not. And now we're just going to go, I'm in the general uh, thing here. So we'll type users and you can see the number of members and it gives us the value of two because obviously we have our bot user and then Tim. So sweet. Uh, if we wanted, we could add a colon here too, because that is probably going to annoy me. All right. So now we've got that. So now how can we check what um, channel a user's sending messages into? For example, in my uh, my actual Discord server, so like Tech with Tim here, I only allow users to send uh, like bot commands in the bot commands channel or the commands channel. Obviously, they can still type this in other channels, but if they do, nothing's going to happen. So how can we do that? So for example, I only want to be able to send it in what one or two channels. So bot commands, uh, commands, maybe mod. Um, so how can we choose those channels? Well, first we're going to have to actually. Sorry, let me go back here to test server. I need to create a new channel. So you're going to call this commands, okay? And you can see it's a blank channel. Uh, you can add as many as you want if you want to play with multiple ones. But essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to make a list of valid channels. So I'm just going to say channels. Uh, yeah, channels equals. I hope that's not going to give us any errors with anything. Okay, channels equals. And then we'll do commands. Now, if you had another... Um, channel that you wanted to be able to send in here you do something like maybe admin and you just type out the exact name and if it has a hyphen like add the hyphen you don't need the pound sign though you just need this okay and now what we'll do is before we send a bot reply we'll make sure that we're in a correct channel so what we can do is we can say if message dot channel equals equals channels uh, or not equals equals sorry in channels which essentially is just going to check if it's either commands or anything else that's in this list We'll tab all this in and there we go. So that should be working. Now I'm also just going to throw a string around here. I don't know if this will cause an error or not, but I just want to be safe. So we'll throw a string and now let's just test this and see if everything's working. So we'll go to discord. Uh, we'll go to general and let's type uh, hello and nothing's happening. Okay. But that is, I believe a command. So now if I go here and I type hello, you can see that the bot responds with hi. And if I do something like users, it also responds with number of members too. Again, if I try users in here, uh, it doesn't work because we're not in the correct channel. So that's a really useful way to do things. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a new event, and this is if a member joins. So if a member joins your server, likely you'd wanna greet them. You wanna say, hey, welcome to the server, and you want some personalized message that probably involves their name. So to do this, we're gonna do another client.event decorator, so I'll copy that. And the, uh, the event this time is going to be async, so the same as before, define on underscore member underscore join. And this takes one parameter, and I believe the parameter is member. And yes, awesome, so member. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to mention this member in a message, and we're going to send it in a channel. Now, the thing is, though, since this is only giving us the member that joined, it's not giving us the channel they joined in we have to know what channel to uh to welcome them in so essentially 99 percent of you are probably going to have all your members join through the general channel so that's probably going to be the channel you want to message in right but for example if they were joining in the channel like um i don't know like and you renamed it something else that wasn't general then you would have to change what you're about to do here and i'll show you in one second i'm just going to look at this okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make a for loop i'm going to say for channel in member dot server yes dot server dot channels and what this is going to do is it's going to get all of the channels that uh is in the server that the member joined okay so similar to kind of getting this guild uh we're just doing it in a different way and now we're going to say if channel equals equals and then whatever the name of your uh what do you call it channel is and again i'll put string here i don't know if we need to do this uh but this is the way i did it in my other code so we'll just use this for now so string channel equals equals general and this will mean we're only going to send a message if it's in the general channel and now what we'll do is we'll say await oh, and then we'll do um member dot server dot channels um how should we do this or no i think it's like this client dot send 
should be something like this and then we can just say uh send underscore message sorry and then what we'll do is we'll uh we'll send like welcome to the server okay so i think i'm trying to understand what i did here i think this this works if channel equals general then we'll just send a message because we're in that channel that that should that makes sense to me but i sorry i'm having trouble explaining that so we'll do another f string uh and then in here what we can do is well we got to add these other quotation marks i believe uh where's my quotation marks there we go and we'll just say welcome to the server and then in here we can say member dot mention and what this is going to do is it's going to do that little at sign and it's going to like mention them so they get like a notification saying like welcome to the uh the server okay so testing this out will be interesting because i'm gonna have to either invite like another bot or something uh and see if that works okay you know what maybe we'll test this in another video but just just trust me on this one if it's working or you guys can you guys can tell me if it works or not um and then I can tweak it in the next video, all right? But I'm pretty sure this should work for if a new member joins the server and I had it working on my server, I believe. So we'll see, that should work. Okay, so what else could we possibly wanna do? Okay, so we figured out how we can get the channel you're sending it in, but how about uh, who's sending what? Like what if I only want myself to be able to use the bot? Well, we can do that as well. So we can say something like valid underscore users equals to, and then again, a list. And I'm going to put my little tag in here, 9298, I think is my number. And you do need this actual number sign, otherwise this isn't going to work. So what I can do now is I can actually say, and, so we have this condition, so if it's in the correct channel, and the member is in valid users. So to do this, we'll say if message dot author in, and then again, valid underscore users, and one more time, we'll convert this to a string. I don't know, again, if you have to do this, you can play around without the string, but let's see now if, I, get, I guess we can't even test this anyways, but anyways, let's try this, because <laughs> I'm the only member in the server, but let's do, uh, I don't know, go to the correct channel, and let's type hello and see if this actually works. There we go, so hi. Okay, so now I wanna see, let's change this to a different name. Let's get rid of Tim, and let's, let's make it TI, just so it's easy to change back. And now let's run this and see if it's still letting me send messages or not. So now we're in the correct channel, we say hello, and nothing's happening, it's not letting us send anything back. So that was actually working correctly, and this is how you can make like a list of valid users. Now you can also do this like based on role, like you can say if user.role equals equals mod, allow them to do this, uh, and I will go through that uh, later, but it's in the documentation, where is it here, if you want to look at how you can get roles and stuff, uh, it's somewhere, you, if you just look like roles, um, then it should go through like all the different things on how to get that. So change log, change, like you can read through that. Anyways, okay, so let's do this though. So let's say you send a message and it doesn't let you, are you in the wrong channel or you're not a valid user? Maybe we wanna say something back to the user or maybe we wanna print something into the console. So maybe we'll say like print and then we'll do another F string because these are just useful. I uh, will say uh, user and then whatever that username was so we'll say like message dot author tried to uh do command and then we'll put in here whatever that command was so message dot content so now what we're doing is actually we're not going to show anything to the user but we're going to print to this log screen saying like this user was trying to do a command um and we can just print that out so we can see what they're trying to do essentially right so let's break this. Uh, let's change this so that it's actually gonna work because I am a valid user right now. And we'll do this. So we'll run and then we'll go here and we'll say like, hello. Okay, so now we come here and it says user uh, Tim9298 tried to do command hello. Now we can also say what channel we tried to do it in. So let's say in channel. And then again, we can do message.channel. And now we have essentially like a log going within our uh, command prompt here or within our console. So if I break this, run this again, uh, and then do this one more time, because the, the channel would probably be useful. So we'll do hello. And then I'll just do another one in here and I'll say um, users. Then you can see Tim tried to do command hello in channel commands. Tim tried to do command exclamation point users in channel general. Now, the thing is, right? If I type anything, um, it's still just going to say that. It's still going to say what I tried to do and what uh, thing. So watch this. Like If I just type hi, 
it's going to say I try to do the command hi, even though it's not a command. And that's just because well, the way we have this if statement set up is we're only checking these things if they're a valid user. And this else statement, right, is only triggering if they're not a valid user, they're in the wrong channel. So essentially, that's what's going to end up happening. But I think I showed you guys enough to kind of get a grasp on how to do some stuff here to add your own commands, to send stuff back, you can get the member count, message content. Uh, next video, we're going to do a lot more. We're going to get into like changing uh, roles and nicknames and like all that fun stuff. Um, some more powerful things, but I just wanted to give you guys kind of a beginning here. Again, if you have any questions, please join my Discord. Um, Tech with Tim, you guys can see here. If I go like to all these help channels, like everyone's really helpful and we go through and kind of help people out with code and whatnot. So I'm sure people will be more than happy to help you. I would as well. Follow me on Twitter and I will see you guys in the next video.